my name is Jack as you know this is a commentary for Minecraft Let's Play except this isn't Let's Play it's a creative tutorial um let's see today we've got a tutorial on the mob spawner trap as you can see I've got a skeleton spawner right here um this is my Let's Play world because if you follow and watch my Let's Play then you'd know that I found a skeleton spawner in that world so basically I got the seed from that I put it in here and now we're gonna make a spawner trap so basically anything that's in my inventory um you're gonna want to have so some cobblestone so, or well it doesn't have to be cobblestone but basically any building material I don't know what I'm gonna build it with when I do it but basically the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to make the room nine by nine so let's so count off four from the mob spawner so one two three four and then you just put that out like that so one two three four one two three four so like this oh yeah and I just blocked off this cave but yeah if you use the seed, I might do a seed spotlight on it, but it's really funny because the seed is literally just the word seed. So, it's it's pretty easy to remember that seed. But yeah, it's a nice seed. It's what I it's what I used on my let's play. So, all right. So, let's see. Almost. Um, if you hear me go silent, it's just because I'm not used to really used to doing commentary. But um, yeah, it's, that's a thing now, so. <laughs> Basically, now you're going to dig it out under the spawner too deep. So, okay then, Mr. Skeleton, let's, let's go ahead and fix this. Um... Okay, so just gonna make it. Oh, another one spawned. That's great. So you're just gonna want to make it too deep under the spawner. So yeah, that's that's a, that's what you're gonna do. It's that simple. Okay. So now we're gonna just mine out the rest and make it too deep. And then, did another one spawn? Okay, now it's just the arrow. This is annoying now. I should probably be making this tutorial in peaceful, but I don't follow the rules. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a cool guy. So. Then you're going to put water in both the corners. It doesn't matter which like side you put it on, but then you're going to mine out all these blocks right here that aren't being touched by water. So like that. And then you're going to mine all the blocks under the water. Like this. And then this will make a direct st um, stream to the middle, as you s see. So. So skeletons have to fall, I believe it is 22 blocks to get like one heart. So, um, let me just go back here. We're gonna basically going to go up to the very top of the world. Whoa. So, ooh, gravel. We don't want that. Um, then we're going to put a sign right here. And put water right here. No, wait, we don't want to do that. That. Okay, so we will put sign in. Hmm. Yeah, right there. And then we'll put a bucket of water right there and put that there. And then a sign here. Then, yeah. And basically, you just continue this pattern all the way up to the top of the world. So, like this. Like this. Like this. Like this like this dang it like this like this like this like this like this 
and like that. No. Yes, I, I dang it. Okay, that sign will just say R, because that's fun. Then you're gonna go all the way back down. And then you're gonna find like the little room where you're gonna have your um where you're gonna stand. So you're gonna wanna basically make a, a, a little room. So and then you're gonna probably end up putting like ladders down or something in your if this was survival. And then you're just gonna have this room like this. And then you're gonna set up a spot for the skeletons to fall. So let's say I wanted it right here. I could put glass panes like this, and then I'd put them right here. And then I would put one right here. So that's what the where they can't get out, and then you punch them down there. But then I'm gonna dig up 22 blocks. So oh yeah, and, um, I don't know what it is for zombies, but basically this is for skeleton. So. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So now this is how far your skeletons will fall. So now you're going to want to find your original. Ooh, there's a creeper in there. This is going to be hard to do. And eh, close enough. So then you're gonna continue bridging across, and you're gonna build this up, and you're gonna do water elevator all the way up for this. So then you're gonna connect that. And make sure the top is sealed in because you don't want the skeletons to die when they get up. So, water there, sign here, water there, sign here, water there, sign here, water there, sign here, and we're up. So then you put another block of water right there, and you go around like this. Now in this situation, we're gonna have to um, put a, wa a sign right here and then add water again. And then, that was perfect, almost. Um, it doesn't matter if they're a little bit off because you can still get them in a few punches. So we'll go like that. And then we will put a sign right here. And now your skeleton spawner is basically complete. Now you just gotta roof in the top and then, once you, and then go back down to the spawner and take away all torches. So like this, and whoops, now we basically just add a roof. And now we just got to go back down to the spawner, which if you use the seed, the route goes like this. So you, you find the cave right over here, and then you go through here, then you dig a little tunnel this way, and then you're here. So now we're just going to take away all the torches. Okay, so now it's dark enough for them to spawn. We can block it off right here. 
and put the piece of glass right here and now we just gotta wait a few minutes so I will get back to you when this when they are spawning in here so as you can see they are now spawning we can just take them out in a few punches like that two punches and this is really efficient for exp farms so thank you guys that was jack from the infinite fox gaming and i'll see you guys later bye well that was not very a nice intro that was not a very nice intro bye